This how-to video is produced by Mertlin LGB in German, and we're going to freely translate this for you. It will show you how to use a digital decoder, A55524, together with uh, a signal, and we're also using a supplementary track switch, which is uh, item number 12070. This right here is the decoder that we're going to connect to the signal, and this is the 12070 supplementary switch that allows us to do some switch functions with the signal. In the instructions, you see how you can connect these two to the signal, and I'm going to try to show this to you here. First, we're going to move, remove this front little cover, and we're going to grab the uh, switch and plug it into the front of the signal. And now that that is installed, we can go ahead and um, insert the decoder, the digital decoder, to the signal. And for that, we're going to first see these two contacts. That's where the digital power, the digital signal, goes to the decoder. And I already have two wires pre-made. These two wires can be connected anywhere to the track that has digital power. And of course, you can also connect it directly to the central station. We connect the two wires to it. And now this decoder should be able to receive um, digital information from your track. Next step is we simply plug it into the site where normally you would install the um, wires to control the signal. And you can also see that I already installed two little wires for the light bulb of the signal, and that goes to a separate electric circuit. I have created a stop section on the track and about this length, the length of a full locomotive at least, so that your uh, locomotives will come to a stop. And there will be two wires. One will be the track power of the track that you actually uh, interrupted. And it will go to this switch right here. And then the other wire is connected to the stop section, the isolated section of track. And I'm gonna screw that into the next terminal. And now this little switch will actually turn on and off the power to our stop section. And it does that uh, in sync with the signal. So now I'll hook up the light for this. I have an old uh, transformer. Uh, this particular transformer puts out uh, about 16 or 18 volts. And you can go up to a maximum of 24 volts. And that should turn on, as you can see, the light bulb for the signal. So, now we're all set, and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna register the uh, decoder to the central station. So I take the central station off of stop, and then I'm gonna click on the bottom here on edit, and then uh, find an MFX uh, article. And you can choose if it should get a new address or keep its old address. And we're just gonna leave it at uh, keep its address. So I click on OK. And the system will now start searching for the decoder. And it found it. And it's gonna read the information of the decoder. It knows it's an LGB55524, but it assumes it's a turnout. It doesn't really matter, we will change that later. We'll let the registration sequence finish. And your screen, if you do it in English, will look slightly different, of course, but uh, you'll get the idea here. And now we can already click on the turnout, and you can see that the signal is actually responding. So that's all good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little test locomotive that is on the track and I let it run. And now it gets to the uh, stop section, the isolated section of track. And when I set the signal to red, you see the locomotive stops. So this works. Now I'll go back to edit and edit my article list. And I grab the signal icon and now I have changed the icon to the correct signal icon. And when I click on it again and set it to green, you can see the locomotive starts running again. 
So in this quick how-to video, we showed you how to digitize the signal using the 55524 and how to add a supplementary switch 12070 to stop the train where the signal is red. Hope you found it useful. And if so, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Have fun.